Welcome back to Ship Happens. For anyone who hasn't been here before, this is our vlog of restoring a 1943 wooden boat. Massive boat. <laughs> Massive boat. <laughs> well, it is, it is towards the end. There's always a bigger boat, though. I think 72 foot is big for anyone. Mm. But last week we painted the bilge, yeah. which we are studying. We've, we've made some floors. We've made some floors. So today we're going to fit the floors. Mm and we're going to pour some tar so the reason that we're pouring some tar is because water collects in the little bits around the keel so the water goes downhill doesn't it always stay always stops at the bottom so because it's got these little bulges the water that gets trapped in there hasn't really got anywhere to go mm. so we're gonna tar them off so the smooth and then the next step will be to put cement in so that is level with the keelson so hopefully it'll allow the water to so glide straight down to, to the middle away. of the pumps yeah so well, yeah we've, we've actually had quite a bit of rain and obviously our deck's a bit rubbish so we have had some collections of water as Gemma just so that is my first job is to go and clean up the little bit of water in the bilges that we've got yeah the water just sits here because it can't go uphill <laughs> so if we make it flat and give it more of a runoff down to our holes down through to our bilge pump <laughs> moment of truth do the floors that you made that you've made fit I don't know this is genuinely well, we haven't test fitted these I've just got them off the back yeah so obviously we did our temporary clamp up Gemma with the, the threaded bar to hold these in position so what we need to do now is relieve them knock them out a bit so we'll just under take them out um see if the floors flit flit see if the floors flit <laughs> then we need to go out from outside then we need to do we're going to drill through the original hole to mark the floors and we take them out put them in pillow drill drill the holes and then we can but anyway so for now we're just going to undo these knock them out a bit and see if the floors fit Ready? This is like genuineness. Yay! It's not it's not absolutely bang on, but I think once it's pulled down. Yeah, yeah that's good though. I like that. I can't believe it. there's still some bits of wet paint here and there. It's been a week. Yeah, I think she would have bit. Oh no, it's on my knees. <laughs> Do you want to say there's a few runny bits? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh well. I've put some, put some gloves on. Right, one fits. Let's see if the other two do. So there was one of these, yeah, it was. Is that way? Oh, check that out. Is that right? Yeah, it's like a glove. Is that right? Yeah. Shall we go three for three? Oh god, this is heavy. Oh no. Right, so we might have to just cut the top off this a bit. We've got a clash with a copper nail. Yeah, on both sides actually. But apart from that, it fits quite okay, doesn't it? Once it's, once it's clear here, you can see it's just holding out here on the nail. Not aware of that. So yeah, then we're going to be a big bolt through there. And then we're going to have to fill all this area here with tar and cement to make it higher so it, it drains. Well, it's saying fill, it's only filling up to there. Okay. But then as well, another idea I had, or another it's not after four, but yeah, these the holes underneath you can actually use these to anchor the lead down so we can put like a strap between them all and then the lead can be secured to the keelson then can't it don't want no floating ballast no so we're literally just going to mark it with the grinder because all we've got is black pens 
don't really work too good on black paint does it so or grinder We'll take it to our new supervise. Did you know we got a new supervise? Can you tell Simon went the boat jumble and bought loads of stuff? <laughs> what does it tell you? It's what? FT. FT? Yeah. Flipping tight. So yeah, it's obviously not a new vice, but vices don't really wear out, do they? So as long as the truck's good. Should have cleaned it, shouldn't I? Right, you cut this one away. I'll cut it for you. Okay. Safety specs. I'll do the first one, yeah, I need some um, safety glasses. So Jim's going to give him a quick gal spray on the end now. Uh, we're going to take advantage of the heat because obviously a lot of heat is still in steel. So. Smoking. <laughs> I just haven't got patience for paint. Paint just takes far too long. It's not like welding. It's like it's done in seconds and you can, I don't know, drive a car into it or something, do you? But, Paint is just far too slow for my liking. It's like watching paint dry, innit? <laughs> <laughs> right, so while the paint's dry, I'm gonna make a brew. Right, so we've been having a big debate um, about the water's coming in. So we've just removed these bolts now. So if we knock them all the way out, the water will come in the boat. We might get a little bit now, but... So we're gonna... Screw these frames now to the Keelsons, mark out where it's going to be screwed to on the web frames and then we're going to have to wait for the water to go away because then we need to come back from outside to put a drill mark on the floor and then we can then take that to the pillar drill and properly drill them. <laughs> Saying before about that the tide's coming in and that we've knocked the bolts out, they've not gone all the way out, but they're underwater. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just we're, we're taking off water now. Look. We're sinking, <laughs> they're underwater. Yeah. There's one there, we're taking off water now. and there's one there. <laughs> uh, I think we're fine. It doesn't do any other bit of salt, does it? So, but it also shows that we do need to level off the floor and so the water will shed itself. So, that's good. about 10 more minutes and the water should be gone so not long to wait now and then we can carry on there's not that much water is there really considering we've got like a couple of six mil holes uh, still coming in you can still see it pulsing in but right panic over we haven't sunk <laughs> <laughs> We are sat on the ground, so. <laughs> so the tide's now left, so we can hit out the threader bar all the way now. Yeah. 
and get the floors fitted. Yep. Right, time to go outside. Oh. Great British weather. It's going to be summer. I think I think we'll give it a minute. <laughs> Why is everything against us today? Yeah, Tides having, and weather. We're not having much luck today, I suppose, yeah. <sighs> this weather's not even funny though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Good rains go. The drains are working. Yeah. On the, our roof overflow system. So, imagine that's from the water tank. Yeah. So, it stopped raining. <laughs> yes. Remember like, the other time, remember the other episodes where we put the windows in and we took out the plywood? Look at the big mark it's left on the hull because obviously they went in before we painted the hull last year. So, We've got some work to do on the hull this year because that is annoying. Right, so right now we're working right down there. So I'll be your camera woman. <laughs> it's always hard to find like a camera stand or someone's put the camera outside, so we've got a floating one. Well, not floating, a maneuver one. Yeah, it does look a bit rubbish, doesn't it? Yeah. We gonna, look good though. Are you having another painting party this year? Yes, I'm going to organise it very soon. So, if you're interested in coming down and helping for the day, uh, I will announce it on our Facebook page shortly. So, uh, mm. the link to the group is in the description. So, come on over. If you're on Facebook, come on over to the group. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lovely, lovely group, haven't we? So, yeah. the more the merrier. Go sledging. Yeah. So, I don't help. I'm holding the camera. I'm going to get it out there now. So earlier on I knocked them all out, as you can see they've all landed on the floor. I must have forgot that one. <laughs> making, you can do it. Making my life difficult. Oh yeah. You ain't so bad. Don't feel right. Can you get me the scoop? So Simon said, when we get to 80,000 subscribers, <laughs> that he's gonna have a roll around in the mud and have a mud bath. So if you wanna see that, please press the subscribe button. So yeah. that's going to happen when we get to 80,000. So subscribe to see a dirty, muddy Simon. Are you going to proper like roll in it yeah, and jump in it? Full commitment. Full, full face. Full commit. <laughs> full commit. So press the subscribe button. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a penny. And now I'm drilling into the steel now. Oh, the mark too, isn't it? Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> there he is. Jim is like smiling behind her, laughing like. <laughs> Mr. Crab. Poke him. <laughs> so now we've got to go and do the port side. Shovel now. Oh, 
Right, where's our third hole? It's high, it's fine. It's mm. good that one. <laughs> I've already used myself to wipe my hands on, so would you like to use me as a as a hand wipe? Yeah. <laughs> We're just idiots, are we? Honestly. <laughs> Look at that, more painting that needs doing to me hole. I hate this bit. Oh, we didn't get time to finish it on the first painting party, did we, because of the weather? Oh. Yeah, but reach the top now. No, I'll film you trying to reach. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to have to like, put your high heels on or something. Your non-sinking high heels. <sighs> we need Rich. Get Robbo. Robbo and Richards. <laughs> yeah, just like high tower. <laughs> All right, cool. And we also need to put loads of like mats down and stuff because Gemma's actually stood on a piece of metal there, it's quite good. I just sunk in the mud there. Yeah, hey, it's a bit sinky around there. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is where you want the boat on the hard. <laughs> I don't know why we never thought of it, like, but. There you go. Put it on the front, it hides my belly. There you go. See? Come on, give the girls a flash. <laughs> give the girls a flash. I'm going to put this now. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, we don't like Betty your foot. Compared to what it was like an hour ago with the rain, mm -hmm. it's gone really, really sunny and like really, really calm. British weather, you just, from one hour to the next, it just changes. I think what we really need to do is when we're drilling in the mud outside, is maybe like wrap a plastic bag around the drills. That um, was a, that was very. I've never been that close if that makes sense. I'm gonna have to drill them Right, time to fit these floors. So quick catch you up, I've been outside doing the copper. I think it's summer wood, yeah. And then Gemma's doing, well, we all know what, we all know what Gemma will be doing, don't we? What are you doing, Gem? Playing in the bilge. You know, because I only painted this last week. It's filthy what I do with our muddy footprints. So, she doesn't normally complain, does she? <laughs> so the plan is now, because we've still got frames and work frames to do here, I don't want to do tar in this area. Plus we've still got a bit of water. So I don't want to tar where it's still wet. 
So we're going to do these three compartments. Then that means we can get... I'm tripping over this lead all day. So then we can get that lead moved over to here once it's tarred and cemented and done. So I think maybe we need to go and get some fire extinguishers on standby. You know, like hot molten tar, wooden boat. I think burns kit. Yeah. <laughs> so should we go and get prepped and then we'll go and get the uh, stove on. Cool. Basically, we haven't got a clue what we're doing, but how we've educated ourselves, we've, we've watched Acorn Cyberella and Tally Ho. I actually, I messaged Leo and spoke to Leo on Facebook, so, and I've also had um, some advice from an other, other shipwrights as well. So, we've done our research, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it's not like you could just sort of try it in the workshop, is it, so... Right, let's go and melt some tar. How much do you want? A bilgeful. How much is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to play, is it? Oh, there you go. How much? I'll do... No, we'll have, yeah, keep going. Ah, oh, it smells like... tar mocking. That's me good pan. Uh, why's it got holes in the side? <laughs> what the heck? First and first I've been <laughs> So I've cut holes in the side so we can like pour sideways or pour that way or pour that way. And if that didn't work, I've also brought a ladle. Have I got any utensils left in my kitchen? Oh, you want to see how many pans she's got? Anyway. Can never have too many pans. This is just as bad. You know what he does, you know, like when he was um, bike racing? He used to uh, strip his engines, out, engines down. <laughs> yeah. Bring the parts home and put them in my dishwasher. So now, my dishwasher broke and I've got no pans and utensils. Got you a new dishwasher. Right, there's only gas. Who's pouring it, me or you? Me, because yeah. I'll do it hard, yeah. I'll just go out. No, I'll pour it. Okay, so, any ideas how long it takes to cook? There's no cooking instructions. But what I, what I might do, actually, when it starts to melt, I'll get my thermal imaging out and then we can see what temperature is at when it melts. Cool. What are you cooking? Your tea. <laughs> well, you've made me worse. <laughs> Hopefully you... I don't burn this. Just a big blob now. There it goes. I'm going to stand up there all the way. Yeah, beautiful. Let it run. Thing is, because it's on a hill, it's running down. Yeah, it's good. It? You're simulating water. That's what water's gonna do. Look at that. Oh, you made a mess of your own. I know. Oh, no, it's right up in the air. You could. No, that's perfect. It's all messy. Oh, don't.
filling your crack in. Oh no, not the blue no, bone. No, it's good. It's good. It's finding level. Mm. I'd like to say your bell's one. Mighty fine for this <laughs> angle. That's it, look at it. Hello. Hello. You're going to be able to use like cleaning wipes on this. I hope so. <laughs> Last bit now. She's done a good job. I'm making a mess. I'm not happy, it is a bit messy. <laughs> Can't be that easy though, can it? It's like pouring treacle. It's like, there's a precision treacle pour, is there, anyway? Yeah. You know me, I'm a bit. Yeah, this, this looks really good. I'm trying to step in it. So that was a good day. Yeah. We got the floors in. We also copper nailed the floors in, which we didn't show you. No. Um, we got bored with the camera for a bit. Yeah. Um, the tar is in. Uh, I have actually got a cable tie holding my hair up so it didn't, <laughs> so it didn't go in the tar. So, yeah. You keep your head still. <laughs> it's like he's like... Cool. So thank you so, so much for watching. Yeah, cheers, guys. Um, Please hit the like and subscribe button. No, because that means I'll, if we get up to 80,000, I've got to go for a mud bath. Do it, do it, please. Please do it in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right, we're off home, and we'll see you all next week. Okay, cheers, guys. See Love you. Later. Bye. 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 Yay. Oh, it's messy. Nice.